Hi everyone, this is Charles Jager with Metal. This is going to be a quick introduction to Metal Skybox 360 Post Effects 2. It features four new stylistic effects for 360 video. Let's quickly apply the different effects to our footage in After Effects. Alright, so I've got some 360 footage of this river with a town. I'm going to go ahead and select my footage, come here to Effect, go down to Metal, Metal Skybox, Color Gradients. The Color Gradients effect will allow you to add up to eight different colors to your 360 video. And what's cool about this is all of them are mapped perfectly for 360. You can see as I move this around up near the pole area, it's going to map correctly for 360. And the colors also interact together very nicely. But you can also dial this down to like four or two points, depending on what you need. And so in this case, I'm actually going to set this on two. And I'm going to simulate a graduated filter effect here. So I'm just going to move the points, one at the bottom, one at the top. I'll adjust the colors on these. Okay, once I've settled on some colors I like, I can come down here to the blending mode. I can set this to be an overlay. Now you can see it's overlaid on top of our footage. And I can adjust the opacity to kind of blend this together into the shot. And create a stylized look. And again, I can go back here and change the colors to anything I like. Now you can see how quick and easy it is to get some cool effects using the color gradients effect. All right, let's go ahead and move on to another shot. All right, in this shot, I'm going to select my footage, come up to Effect, Metal, Skybox Fractal Noise. And this is what you would expect it to be, a fractal noise effect, but it's mapped for 360 video, which is really going to give us a lot of creative options when we want to simulate things like clouds, fog, fire, even water. It also has evolution animation options. And we can go through and look at the different fractal types we have. We have basic, turbulent sharp, max, which is kind of a splotchy look, and strings, which is more of kind of an electric look. I'm going to quickly create some fog for our shots. I'm just going to come back up to fractal type, set it on basic. I'm going to open up the transform settings here, and I'm going to increase the scaling on the fractals to about 5 or so, 5.5. I'm going to increase the complexity up here to about 10. We get a lot more fine details in the fractals. All right, now I want to go ahead and set this to a screen blending mode. So I'll come down to blending mode, select screen. And now we can kind of adjust the opacity here to kind of blend this in with our shot. And you can see this kind of looks like fog or steam coming up from the waterfall in the morning there. And if we want to animate this, we can animate the scaling or the evolution. In this case, I like the scaling because it makes the fog look like it's kind of rising upwards. And that's just one of the cool things you can create with the fractal noise effect. All right, let's move on to the next 360 post effect. I'm going to select my footage, come up to Effect, Metal, Skybox Digital Glitch. And this does what the name implies. It applies digital glitches to your 360 video. What's cool about this, again, is it's mapping everything in 360, so you're not going to have any seams, and it's going to map correctly at the poles of the video. This effect gives you lots of different options, and you can control things such as the distortion rate here. You can see how I can bring it up or down. I can also adjust the color distortion. You can see how extreme that's kind of splitting the RGB here. We can also adjust the distortion complexity. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the distortion rate. And I can adjust the complexity to make it bigger or smaller. Again, Digital Glitch has lots of different options that you can keyframe and customize to make the effect your own. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the last new post effect. I'm going to select my footage, come up to Effect, Metal, Skybox Chromatic Abrasions. And this effect is going to apply chromatic abrasion lens distortion to your footage. It's very similar to an RGB split in some cases. Essentially, it's going to split your footage up in the red, green, and blue channel, and you can go ahead and scale each one of the channels independently to get some cool effects. You can also keyframe and animate the point of interest to kind of vary the effect over your footage. It's very unique to see this chromatic abrasion effect in 360. Finally, it's also worth noting that all of the Skybox 360 post effects also work with stereoscopic footage. On all the effects, you'll see a frame layout option at the very top of the effect. You can go ahead and check this to stereoscopic if you are working with stereoscopic footage. And you can see that this is now mapping correctly on your footage. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this overview of Metal Skybox 360 Post Effects 2. I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody can create with these new stylistic effects. Thanks for watching.